All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about camp chairs. Uh, you guys have seen the different chairs in my videos uh, and a stool. We'll get to the stool later. But uh, you guys have been asking a lot of questions and so I just wanna go over quick uh, some of the things. I consider these backpacking or hiking chairs because me and Caroline backpack and hike with these chairs uh, and the stool. But uh, so yeah, if you're looking for something small, compact that you can bring with you everywhere, uh, I think you can get a lot from this video. Uh, it's going to be quick. I'm not going to go over every little detail. Uh, it's a chair. You sit in it. You can carry it if you want. But I, there are some pros and cons that I would really like to share with you. So let's jump into the video and hopefully I can show you guys the difference between these and I get you thinking about what you really need when it comes to a camp chair. Alright, so starting off with everything compact. Uh, this is the Trekology camp chair. I'm going to be comparing them all with a standard Nalgene 32 ounce water bottle because I'm guessing everybody has one of these and if you don't have one you can just go to your local Walmart, Target, wherever and look and feel and play with one to see uh, the size comparison. So here is the Nalgene height wise and then on the bottom so it's a little bit bigger than your standard Nalgene but it's still pretty compact and small. And uh, this is my favorite when it comes to the compactness of this. And so uh, let's set it up and I'll show you some of the pros and cons of this chair. All right, so the Trekology camp chair, the bag that it comes in is really nice. It's small. Uh, it's really easy to get the chair back into this pouch. It's got daisy chain along the front so you can attach things to it or you can attach the chair to the outside of things. There's a lot of hook placement uh, where you can hook this to a lot of different things. It's got a nice loop on top and so for like me I like to put this in my backpack and then when it comes time to pull it out I can just grab that loop pull it out of my pack. Uh, setting it up is very easy. You just got these got these aluminum stakes. They go together just like uh, like tent poles. It's got the uh, cordage in the middle, the shot cord, so it just kind of goes together by itself. That goes on the ground. Uh, you get the chair itself. So I like to start at the bottom and I hook the bottom up. And then I hook the top up. It's just easier for me to do it this way. Some people start at the top and then go to the bottom. Then you have a chair. It's very comfy. Uh, I'll bring you in closer so that you can see. <coughs> Just swallowed a bug. All right, so getting a closer look at the chair itself. It's very lightweight. It's got this strap at the bottom and you can use that strap to hook this bag up. It's just Velcro. And it's just so that your bag doesn't blow away as you're sitting. Uh, yeah, it's just a standard chair. The feet are decent. Uh, they are adjustable. So you can make this shorter or you can make it where it comes, which is in the middle. And you can make it taller. So you have to go around and adjust all three legs or all four other legs. But the disadvantage is you have to put it back in the middle. You either have to have it in the middle or on the bottom one for it to fit in the bag nice like it does. And so if you do want it up taller, uh, you're going to have to adjust it every single time. But if you keep it in the middle or shorter, uh, you can just keep them there always. Uh, I don't know why you'd want it shorter unless it's for a kid. But it is nice that it is adjustable. So you can get it up higher if uh, that's something that you need. I like to keep it just in the middle. Uh, yeah, pretty decent chair. The pros of this is that it's very comfortable. I like the bag that it comes in. Mine came with this sand uh, so that you don't sink in the sand. It attaches to the feet. It's pretty easy to attach. And then there's a buckle in the middle that goes around the bottom here. The mosquitoes are real bad today. But this 
it uh, distributes the surface area, it gives you a larger surface area, distributes the weight so that you don't sink in sand and mud and everything. Uh, I use this sometimes. The feet on the chair itself do a really good job of not having you sink, but if you're in the mud or sand, it does sink, and so having this is a really nice feature. The problem is, is I got this whole setup uh, for like $35, and I got it on a lightning deal. I got the whole thing, but if you're looking to buy the same setup, the chair itself is around $45, and then you have to buy this separate now. This doesn't come with it anymore, and this is another like $12. And so you're looking at like 50, almost $60 uh, for this chair. Now, this is a very comfortable chair. This is the one that I always carry with me. Uh, this is my favorite chair just because it is small, compact, uh, it's lighter, and I really like this chair. This is my favorite of all of them, but it is the most expensive of the three. All right, so up next we have the Dura Lounger. This is compact, that's about twice the size of a Nalgene height wise. It's quite a bit larger than the bottom of the Nalgene. And uh, it's a much bigger package. Uh, this is the one that Caroline likes to pack with her. And uh, let's set this one up and I'll show you why she prefers this one over the other one. Okay, so now going to the Dura Lounger. The Dura Lounge has a same style bag it's exactly the same as the Trekology uh, it has the loop on top so you're able to pull it out of your pack it has the daisy chain in the front here so you can attach it to a lot of different things uh, the zipper is nice it's very easy to get in and out of this bag as well and this one sets up almost exactly the same as that one you have your aluminum frame the shot cord so it's just like tent poles but this one's a lot bigger so setting it up it's fairly easy now this one I have to do backwards and so you get your chair and this one you have to start at the top because the top has really long sleeves and so you want to put the sleeves in first all the way and so this is kind of the tricky part but once you break it in it's very easy but there is a break in period that's very difficult it's difficult to get these things in right away but once they stretch and configure it's not that hard this last corner can be a little tricky, but once it stretches out, like I said, then it's it's good to go. And this one again is very, very comfortable. So this is the one that you see in a lot of my videos. This one is much taller. It has a very tall back. It has a little pillow-like thing. It's just hard foam though. It's not really a pillow. This one has uh, side pockets on both sides so that you can put a water bottle, your keys, your wallet, whatever, so you're not sitting on them. Uh, the feet have like these little, they look like little UFOs, these little saucers on them. And it has done a really good job at not sinking into the mud, uh, not sinking into sand. It does a really good job. I don't have a lot of experience with sand with any of these, but uh, just a little bit but I've never had either one of these sink uh, this one the Tur Trekology one I have to put that mesh on the bottom to distribute the weight where this one I don't need it this one just works I really like this chair uh, it's a lot more comfortable than the Trekology because of that high back it uh, sits up taller so the Dura Lounge sits up higher but if you adjust the Trekology to its highest setting, it's the same height. So you're not really gaining anything height wise, but this is way more comfortable with that backrest. Uh, and it is cheaper. Like I said, I picked this up for about $30. I think it was like $29.99. And uh, I'll leave links to everything down below. So this is 
Caroline's chair. This is the one that she carries on her back all the time, whether we're hiking or camping, uh, backpacking, whatever. This is the one that she prefers because it is so much more comfortable. It's a much more comfortable chair. And it does not sink in the mud, which she really likes. And it's not extra pieces to prevent it from doing so. So that's the one that Caroline really likes. All right, so this one is technically a stool. Uh, it's about twice the size of a Nalgene, twice as tall. It's about the same diameter as the Nalgene. Uh, and it's a stool, it's not a chair. So again, let's set this one up and I'll show you the pros and cons of this one. All right, so this one's a little bit different. This isn't really a chair. This is just a stool. Uh, I forgot to mention the Trekology can hold up to 300 pounds. The Dura Lounge can hold 250, and I think this is the this is the XL, and I think this one can hold 300 as well. And the uh, yeah, so they hold a lot of weight. This right here we have carried with us and it is our least favorite of the three just to tell you right away so this one has just this aluminum part the legs have these have this fabric here but they don't lock open and so a lot of times what will happen is you'll be trying to sit on it and you'll fall uh, we've fallen off this chair more than we've fallen off of anything else ever but you open these up so these fold up making a Y and then you put these onto here and this just clips onto here then you have your stool and like I said these don't stay open and this is the one that we have the most problem with the feet are flat and kind of aggressive but the uh, it sinks in the mud especially if you don't have it exactly perfect and so this one, yeah, see, I gotta... so this one sits up the highest, and uh, it works, but it is very inconvenient. Uh, the reason I wanted this one so bad is because I can keep my pack on, and so I can take this and put it in the outside of my pack, and then I can grab it, sit on it without taking my whole pack off, and uh, it just it doesn't work that good. It can hold the weight, I have done that, it does work, but you have to make sure that those feet are perfect, uh, otherwise one will collapse and you're going down. Uh, I, like I said, we have fallen off this stool more than we've fallen off of anything. Uh, it just, it isn't reliable. Another thing is you have the two in front and one in the back, or you can switch it over and have two in the back and one in the front. And sometimes having two in the front is better. Oh, this is sketchy. Sometimes having the one in the front is better. You just gotta sit on it and try it like this isn't, I'm gonna fall. I gotta flip it over and have the two in the front for the terrain that I am on. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, this thing's gotten a lot of really good reviews, but I'm not a fan of it. I'd rather carry the heavier chairs and just be able to sit and relax and lounge and do whatever I need to do. Uh, and I don't like fiddling with this thing. I'm gonna go down. Well, it folds, it collapses on itself. I wish there was a way to lock these in place so that they just stayed, you know what I mean? But it doesn't come with anything. It's just a piece of fabric there so that they don't go too far out, but there's nothing keeping them out. And so you can probably come up with a way of putting something in here to lock them in place but it doesn't come with anything you're gonna have to figure that out later on all right so I just got done talking about this I kind of rambled on a little bit I'm gonna cut some of that out but when it comes to the Trekology and the Dura Lounger the Trekology is my favorite uh, if I had to pick between these two I would spend the money and I would get the Trekology. I, again, I don't know if I would recommend this one, but the Trekology chair is comfortable. It packs small, it's lightweight. Uh, it does everything I need it to do. Uh, the mesh 
bottom for the mud and sand and everything. I don't know if you need that. Uh, to be completely honest with you, the only time I use this is if it rained the night before or if uh, everything's soaking wet and muddy. It's the only time I really use this bottom thing and it's just a just in case thing. Uh, I've never had this thing sink into the mud but I always put this on there just to prevent it from happening. And uh, yeah, this is by far my favorite chair. Again, I got this one at the premium price. This was $30 for this whole setup. Uh, now that it's almost 60, I don't know. I still think it's worth the money because it's just, it's so much smaller. It's so much more compact. And uh, yeah, I really, really like it. All right, so real quick, I want to show you the comparison between each one by themselves. Uh, the Trekology compared to the camp stool. The camp stool is a little bit taller, but they're about the same around in the bottom. They take about the same amount of space. It's just the stool is taller. And then the Dura Lounge, they are almost the same height, but the Dura Lounge is about twice as thick around the bottom and so it's taking up a lot more room but it's the same height so I wanted to show you that so that if you're packing these you kind of get an idea of how they compare pack wise but then again if you ask Caroline she's gonna tell you that this Dura Lounger is worth every bit of weight uh, she doesn't need that extra thing on the bottom she's never had an issue with this sinking into the mud she hasn't had any issues with this uh, it's so comfortable she likes to sit around and just lounge and be comfortable. And in this chair, you can take a nap. You know, you can lean all the way back and you can fall asleep. If you fall asleep in the Trichology chair, you're going to fall out. And so this one is a lot more comfortable. Uh, you're able to do a little bit more with it. But again, it's a lot more weight. It's bigger, it's bigger, it's heavier, it's bulkier. But uh, so yeah, it's just up to you. I would highly recommend one of these two chairs. Uh, the stool again, I just, it's just too flimsy in my opinion. I just, I'm not sure who, who would benefit from this. I would rather have you guys sit in one of these chairs. So with that being said, make sure to leave any knowledge or questions in that comment section. I try to answer every question I possibly can. And uh, I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.